and welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week 11 of the spring 2020 season. On this show, we discuss the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Shredden. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have Ku. Hola. Next up, we have Brian. Hello. And finally, we have Sasha. Ichi. Sasha. All right. And um, going through the news this week, I've um, got couple items on the list the first one um so uh so the creator of fairy, fairy tale he made a new manga called um eden zero and that just got announced as an anime so i don't know how popular this will be compared to fairy tale so we'll see i, yeah, I didn't it's probably gonna be booty dude, i'm already gonna Damn. i'm gonna be watching this over fairy tale Wait, so Brian, you know, did you read the manga? what dude you're such a hoe man <laughs> whoa that's a strong term people with horns on their heads that's what we call them um I was just about yeah. to say something about that too. I was like, "The man's already dead." Leave him below. Listen, as a longtime person who has never watched Fairy Tale, I will say, Eden Zero looks good. Why? Okay, tell me it? why. You know the uh, animation—it's smooth. Dude, there's no animation. There's no trailer. There's nothing, man. <laughs> oh, I, I got a sneak peek on Twitter. You know. Oh yeah, who's your? Uh... <laughs> Who's your resource? Oh, his name's Eden. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I mean, I guess if you're more into sci-fi, then sure. Oh, is it sci-fi? Brian, did you read the manga? Have you have you seen it? No. Okay. <laughs> me reading? You got me fucked up, David. Uh, Brian, I was pretty okay. much just looking up about it, and just from the pictures and cover art of some. He's the main character. He looks like um like gray, basically the gray and like it's, the, ch- the it's, chick. I mean, the chick looks like Lucy again. So. Yeah. And then you have Happy there for some yeah, reason. Yeah, Happy. And then you have literally gray fucking so, Natsus right there. You have Sting and Rogue. You have so basically Lil like the, the, the Shonen recycle begins all over again. It's, it's just an alternate timeline. It's 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 the same fairy tale timeline. Guys, it's going to be way better. Honestly, the way fairy tale ended. It. Like, I'm not going to lie. It, it just, you know, it kind of tailed off. I didn't like that about it. So I hope. <laughs> Yes. I was just about to ask you if you actually watched it <laughs> until that. Yes, yes. Um, so strong just, emotions. So I strong, know. I can't reveal any details about my thoughts. I just feel like, wait, what the fuck? It's actually happy. Hello? Hello? Hmm. It's actually happy in the story. Hell, wow. The so maybe it's a spinoff. Because happy, happy was <laughs> such a... Instrumental character in, in the original fairy tale. I don't know if he's trolling or not. <laughs> he's all trolling. I think you're the, probably the only one who's watched fairy tale. May I don't know if Ku has. Uh, wow, this is here and here, but no. Okay. Yeah, but I'm I'm happy about the news. Yes. <laughs> so Brian, you're on your own, and uh, but I will probably watch this since it's starting from the beginning, and I don't have to catch up. What are you on about, dude? I do. I'm watching One Piece, man. There's zero excuse. That's, hey, that is. Oh your yeah. Oh, Brian, how far are you? The way. Uh, the arc before they get to Sky Island, whatever it is. Oh. Okay. They're like is your list updated? To Sky Island. What? Very well. Is your list updated, David? Or David? Brian? <laughs> Shut up, say, man. Are you talking no, before? Maybe. Might be. Hmm. All right. I, I'll, I think it I'll, no. I'll probably watch Eden Zero. Okay, nice. good, good right. So we'll look out okay. for that. Um, moving on. Uh, apparently, Shaman King is getting a reboot for some reason. I don't know why. Yes, what? yes, yes. <laughs> like, wow, oh, good. <laughs> that that's like, amazing. I, I don't know why this happened. Like all these random like old '90s series getting like spinoffs and reboots. So. I mean that. Yeah, I feel like that is the trend now. So but yeah, this is another show I never originally watched, and I will be watching this one. Because I don't dude, again, I don't have to catch up to it, dude. They they can't fuck this up, dude. It's so good. Oh god, they, they already yeah. said they were gonna. I think they were gonna do the whole reboot for the whole the whole series, weren't they? For the manga. Uh, I mean, sure. I think that's what the news article said. Like surprise, that was one, you, know. you haven't seen it. Threatened. It's been crowned as one of the best animes out there. Yeah, I I have. I just. I, I mean, think... according to my anime list, it says otherwise, but. Let's not get listen, that, listen. David might get triggered. So. <laughs> we we all know Mal is not a source. I mean, for me, it's my number one source. Oh so. my god, Brian. David can stick to his Reddit and all that other jazz. Oh my you god, know? you and Shren stick your trash. Gosh. Well, I wouldn't call it trash, but I just say the fan base 
It's a little ridiculous. The Shaman yeah. King, they need to treat that. That's royalty. It, it, it's just an easy way to just keep track of my anime. That's that's mainly what it is. No, but I don't, yeah, but when it comes out though, I'll definitely be keeping up with this one. And then other people can compare it to the original, but I'm not gonna go back and my watch god, the original. My god, Strain, wait a Appreciate yeah, your have class. you seen the original Shaman no, King? No, I haven't, but I wouldn't sure. mind watching the original because I, you, unlike oh, someone right. here, unlike someone yeah, here, I can appreciate it. my classic. Well, you you what can say you will watch it, you will watch it. <laughs> Probably not. It's too long. Not too long. Exactly. Just, just like I'd rather watch other shows. Did you guys read the Shaman King manga or no? No. Nope. Oh, yeah. It was it was kind of bloated, though. What, the manga or the anime? <laughs> the manga. <laughs> That's just like how you're like stifling a laugh right there. Manga. What? What? No, no. I just uh, I, I had throat surgery three oh. days ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recovering from the lumpage. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. That's kind of cheesy. But, but yeah, but yeah, Brian. Seriously though, the manga it didn't really go anywhere. Did you actually read it? Yes. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's that. Uh, Power Star Online manga just ended. I think it was this week. So I think today. today? I think Monday yeah. was last day. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I mean, oh, we're. Wait. Oh, go ahead, Brian. Uh, I heard somewhere that uh, Promise Neverland manga ended. Yes. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, no, it did, serious. Brian. Yes, 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 it did. Brian, I we just said it. <laughs> oh, really? Did I have to think out of it? No, 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 I, I, did, I did not know that. So thanks for telling me, Brian. I kind of thought for a second just because, like, I was like, okay, are we still trolling? Like, what is happening right now? <laughs> All right, as you were, dude. Okay, so it not, ended today. Not gonna troll. I'm down for that. Uh, I'm gonna be catching up on That's that. It's like the only thing I really have to say about that. And then, I think um, none of us read it besides Sasha. I think Sasha's the only one that keeps up, or not keeps up with it, but you're the only one reading it, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm about to get the volumes after. Uh, after the anime ended, so nice. I'll, I'll I'll be informed. Yeah. Oh, remember there is a second season coming out. Oh, don't. Okay. But so you. you know, yeah, no problem, man. So I'm here. And then I'm um, just the last thing is just um, Log Horizon season three just got delayed January. So which what I... the fuck? <laughs> COVID, man. Oh gosh, dude, that's that's heartbreaking. You gotta make sure these anime's don't get don't get sick and die. Yeah, if the work doesn't kill them, COVID will. I did not I know, see right? that on the horizon. Honestly, though, okay, like, never mind. I'm not gonna get into it. You can continue, <laughs> David. I was like, on a tangent. It's like it's one nice guy that we wanted, and then it just, you know, it's just getting delayed again with like everything else. I mean, everything's delayed this year, so it's not a surprise. Yeah, I mean, it's expected, but I figured I was like, ah, big news. Most of us watch it, and you know, I would just, you know, <laughs> tilt Brian. <laughs> tilt. All right, so that's it for news for today. We're going to move on to Tower of God. Um, so big episode today, I guess. Like, a lot of things happen, which I guess I'm surprised at the way that it started with... Because when they revealed the test, like, it just basically showed that Bomb and Rachel are in that bubble thing. I thought I thought the whole point of the test was to show Bomb, like, his strength, not not to rely on all the other people again, which that, that part was really weird. So... Um, again, I think the real test was when he first met the administrator, and by getting the approval to even take the test, shows that the administrator proves bomb. So I guess, but it it's I was I was I was expecting um like something more epic, I guess, but it just I I, I still enjoyed the test, but it just the way that things turned out it was really weird because because then because you know real, later in the episode it shows that like. This whole thing was just like, Man, was it? A, a diver- is rigged. It was like it's a, a di- diversion it's by like, by Han Sang Yu to like to get like the the um the weapons like the Green April and the Black March, and that one creepy Ren, Ren character. Oh, so, uh, Sheep Guy. Yeah. Sheep Guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Sheep Guy is awesome, man. What are you talking about? It's so the, creepy. The design is so terrible. It's so bad. What's that? The design for the character. Like it, just looks, so it, bad, looks, dude. it looks so dude. out of place and just terrible. Imagine I mean, having granted, that guy in your bed. I mean, granted, the no. sheep guy is like one of the former like administrators. It was just number sixty-seven. Okay, him. yeah, some guy okay. killed him, took over his body. 
it's a number it was a number 67 sheep in uh did sort of that in the anime or, i don't remember that at all oh, said a couple times there. they said this, this, oh, yeah. this episode as okay. well too okay i guess uh, i wasn't yeah. paying attention then yeah, yeah, matter. Matter. Who's anything. not listening now? Bro, maybe, ooh. Maybe, maybe you're knocked out before he even gets uh, this, you know, like 67th oh. sheep in your sort of sleeping, so <laughs> you'll never meet him. I don't have a shirt or mattress. You, so, you got one, two, out. <laughs> I will say this. The, uh, the test seemed to fit that arbitrary t- that David's been throwing out the last couple weeks, and it seemed ridiculous, but I actually think this is the one test where everything is very clear, how it's supposed to move, and the parts that are going on you feel this tension that I usually have not felt with the show or that I haven't felt so far. And so to see Endorsey and Anak struggle and then just get the asses whoop by the bull and by Serta Mattress guy, I just, I thought that was great. And we're going to see what's going to happen there. Uh, I love the fact that my boy, the guy that I would be threw that spear. I was like, yeah, boy, yeah. Okay. And then, did he throw it or did he just kind of just drop it? Well, he did yeah, say that like, uh, he didn't. That he had a lot of force behind it. He didn't. He didn't throw it. I thought he just dropped it, didn't he, by accident? Wow! If he dropped it, that's impressive. Uh, I, that just shows you how godly his skills are. I feel are. like someone was controlling him. That's yeah, what like, it seemed like to me. Yeah, he he said he didn't know what he was doing. He had it in his hand at one minute. It just got thrown down there. But yeah, guy, that, doesn't, that doesn't sound like something. It wasn't done on purpose. No. No, no, no. You, you don't understand my attack. So uh, <laughs> I thought that was well done because the start of the show, things are unraveling. Of course, I also like the fact that uh, Bon, you, you, get, you get into his mentality because Rachel was like, hey, you know, uh, you're not worried or anything. He goes, why? Because that would just make you more worried. So it shows you, man, this guy is actually very mental tough and willing to go through all this stuff. So I've grown to appreciate him a little bit more, although he is just generic as all generic. Can... So, yeah. Yep. My body's hyped, though, man. And then our boy, tracksuit guy, man. <laughs> she that beats guy. You, yeah. Yeah, she did something. Yeah, kind of useful. Yeah, it was actually useful with the dagger from the last episode. So no, that dagger, that dagger didn't do anything. To be fair, hey, no, let's stop the bull. She was. What was he gonna? What was he gonna do? Kick the bull? He was about to get eaten by the bull. Dude, where's this so-called killer move, Doug? I want to see his killer move that he keeps. Just save this for the right moment, you know. He has to charge it up. That's right. He has to get different tracks in episodes, you know. So, do you think that anyone's gonna die? In the next episode or two, I feel like someone else is meant to die soon. Yeah, dude, I'm not. Jk. You know what? Girl. What if I the mean, Blizzard Girl and uh, Andre both go out? If they do, I I would be so much more interested in the show because it shows you okay, there's consequences to this, and they're willing to take off some of these characters. If they don't, it's going to be predictable, but it depends how they pull it off. So you know, if they survive by some miracle, because even the Serta mattress guy, he was like, "Yeah, I could kill you right now." <laughs> But that wouldn't be that blood. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, so he's keeping her alive for whatever reason. But yeah. uh, I don't know. I just thought uh, the tension was there. The action was there. The bull, he's a pretty cool guy. He reminds me of like Venom mixed with Killer Whale mixed with, I don't know, your uvula because that's what it looks like dangling <laughs> out of his body. Okay. <laughs> You you lost me at the Uvula. Yeah, <laughs> same. But but what I was gonna say, like, I mean, they've already, you know, we lost Ho last episode, right? Or was it the episode before that? No, two episodes ago. Yeah. Yeah. There's already consequences, man. They they killed some. They kill off a well, fan favorite. Fan favorite. <laughs> there's like the two the for two, all the horn people out there. There's like those two other guys. <laughs> Uh, right by Shibitsu, I guess they technically died too, but I don't even remember their names, so I guess they don't. Yeah, I don't even know who they were. Like I, um, I was watching. I was like, and the bull just had some somebody in his mouth. I'm like, wait, who the hell was that? Like, I, well, I knew that character. But I just didn't know his name. So, like, random character B. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a good guy. Yeah, he was there for. Well, it's like, it seems like Shibitsu is like really like he's he be the type of person to because he's he's still pretty weak. He he seemed the type of person to actually die, but. He'll probably live, dude. Everybody uh, seems so weak in this show so far. I mean, because first, like, uh, they, they were making the bull sound like he was like some crazy thing until you find out he was just being um, uh, controlled. So that's why then he just made it, I assume, seem weak. Um, but I don't know. Everybody just seems just terrible. I mean, if anything, I feel like they set up the Dorsey to die to protect uh, Anak or the lizard girl mm-hmm. just because she's kind of. Uh, she was pierced once, and she's kind of powerless at this point. She's lost her weapon, 
and she's kind of lost control of herself with the necklace being shown from uh, number 67. Uh, Watch, it's gonna be fake. Well, see, like I, I thought this episode showed. I don't know. It, I was more disappointed on Nock. Just like I thought, like I mean, I know I understand, like like you know, Ren's, he's probably pretty strong, but it's just like he just so easily like overpowered her with the, like when he stabbed her. So I thought she'd be more of a fight. So Dude, even even Dorsey, man, like how the hell are you gonna get caught by the whip twice in a row? Like dodge, I man, think, dodge. I mean, at that part, I th- I think I could forgive more. I think she was just baited. I think it's part of her character. She's a cocky person. Oh, yeah. The first one was cocky as hell, but the second one was just like, just, just didn't move. Yeah, but she didn't realize there was a difference, right? Because yeah. she just she's like, I'm going to kill yeah. you. I think it's more like, yeah, it was just a bait because I think they're trying to separate the two. So I didn't like think of it too much. But, you know, our our boy, his name is Young Sung something. He, Hung, uh, Hung Sung Yu. Hung Sung Yu, thank you. Same the right guy? man. No, the coffee. Uh, Insta, Insta, Insta coffee. coffee. Coffee turtle. Oh, gotcha. Coffee turtle be scheming, man. That guy, dirty, bro. He's ultimately, he's a, he's like that dirty politician that takes money from both sides and just wants to see conflict. Except there's no money involved. It's just death. And well, coffee. I mean, like, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure like, being a ranker comes with a bunch of privileges, so I don't really know what his, I still don't know what his deal is besides, like, because they didn't really tell us why he wants or or why he needs the weapons unless unless there's something I no, missed. He's, uh, he's just trying to ensure order is is there in the tower. Oh wait, be- like uh, earlier he doesn't want anything in the tower, or he doesn't want anyone to climb the tower. That's going to cause disruption to the the balance that they have. So he thinks that bomb's going to be a threat. That's why he helped out Ren trying to get the the two weapons back and capturing or killing the two princesses or the fake princess in a sense. So. Um, he actually has a purpose. Ren, I'm not sure why, other than the fact that he's trying to uh, get the weapons back. So, doesn't he also serve Jihad or no? I think that he does. Yeah, Coffee Turtle. No, no, uh, Sleeping Turtle. Yes, Ren. Oh yeah, he's one of Jihad's special enforcers or something, right? Like, right, right. Yeah. So he's I part of the, like. I think I think he was like the he, he was like the original hire, and then like. And then Han Song just like found out about it, and he, I, for some reason, he wants to be in. That's that's the part we need. We don't really know. God damn, I don't remember any of that. <laughs> that was like it's all when Hong Song ago. approaches him, and he's like, "Yo, bro, I see you in that." Remember, he had like a basically another version of the bull come out of the ground and attack him, and then they fought for like a split second. He's like, "Yeah, I'm trying to get my weapons back." <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. The snake slash eel thing. Yeah, yeah. Eel. I mean, all their creatures look the same now. They, they look, at, they do. Do they yeah. look just terrible. Like, I don't know. Bro, bro, come on. Don't judge them. Just they have one eye. <laughs> it's so terrible, too. I wonder what the original looks like in the in the, in the manhwa, though. I mean, if we saw, like, those few shots that look just like, uh, you know, me on me and Microsoft Paint. <laughs> okay, I will I tell you what's caught up. It's not that bad. It's close to it, though. I think I could trying, maybe do that. Just disrespecting give me, give artists everywhere here. No, like, give me two years, I got that. Oh my gosh, dude, that's a <laughs> challenge right that, there. That's the same though. I two can't years. get anywhere than that. Anyway, I mean, that's like the big things happen. It's just it's just setting up for her next week. Where, like, does yeah. anyone guess that, like that Dorothy's actually gonna kill her, or is she just gonna like try to stab Ren? Oh, I, I think they both dead. survive. No, and Dorsey's dead. I think, I think someone dude. will die. I just don't know who though. You can't play Dorsey like that, man. My, if she leaves well, the show, I leave the show. You hear me, man? <laughs> well, rip Sasha then. Yeah, I can back that up too. <laughs> All right, rip Sren. All right, this will be a three man show. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Yep. I can back that up because I mean, Ra- who am I? Who am I going to root for? Rachel? <laughs> oh gosh, not Rachel, man. Care about Rachel, dude. The fuck? Nah, man. What are we? What are we talking about? It's Raphael. No, I don't need that. I got no feelings for her, just like she got no feelings in her legs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yikes! Uh, you had to go there. I'm done. I can't deal with this. It's just temporary paralysis. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. On that note, I think we're kind of tired of God. <laughs> Get hyped for the next episode, y'all. <laughs> we're gonna run over to Glade oh, here. What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 real quick. Okay. Apparently, they got rid of like a scene with Dorsey. Where she trained with the BAM. 
Oh, really? oh, and had an wow. outfit change apparently. Cool. Pre or uh, pre or post uh, wheelchair, dude. Damn. At Dorsey. In Dorsey. <laughs> oh, at Dorsey. My bad. I thought <laughs> I was <laughs> Whoa, shit, dude. Okay, that's all. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm reading it now. All right, so we're gonna move on to Gleipnir. <laughs> um, so this was wait, a wait, big wait. episode was, too. Was, was the outfit more or less revealing than in the current one? What do you think? Well, usually when they train. Um. Anyway, let's put. Let's just say she has horns and more than. Mm, yes. Yes. Okay. So as I was saying <laughs> before, you fucks interrupt me. <laughs> All right, Clayton. Yeah, a lot of things happen, so especially towards the end. So Do I guess it. we'll have to like break it down a little. This episode is pretty intense. They like oh, right. in the wagon? huh? What? You back on the wagon. What do you mean? I mean, I was just on the wagon to finish it, you know. I'm, yeah, you know, but I, I mean, you know, like I was, I was like running alongside it, and I was looking, and I was like, I mean, I'm kind of lazy at this point, so I'll just get on it, you know. So are you, you're just, you're just, you're just. I'm just here it. for you're the ride, even, you know. Okay, you're not even here on, you're not even paying for this ride. You're just on the back of the wheel. Yeah, dude. Dude, that's a free ride. That's messed up. But you like okay. on the, they get on the, on the city bus, but they didn't pay for the ticket, and they get into like the side entrance. And then you sit down, you, you hope there's no police officer or anything on there to check your ticket. That's you, man. Yeah, you're hoping for that, but that's, you get the homeless man to jerk it off. Brian on the light <laughs> right there. Susie Chapstick. <laughs> God damn. It's All right. Side joke. jokes. All right. Glapnir. Yeah, this episode was hype, guys. Not This episode was hype. Oh, All I, right, I, I'm going to start I, with I, the ending. Okay. Oh, go ahead, David. Actually, I, oh, I just want to start, Sasha. I want to <laughs> see how how'd you feel when... When uh, Shuichi like shot the fuck out of that guy in the, oh, the graveyard. Are you kidding me? I loved it. I loved it. I mean, not that I'm sadistic, but I am. Uh, <laughs> but Shuichi, you can see where his character has grown. And this is character development, right? Like, I think you guys, David, especially you, were like, God, when's this guy going to grow a pair of balls? And you just saw it. He's like, nope, I got to do this. So I was a big fan of the turn because you could tell something has clicked within him that said, hey, Claire. You're not alone in the decision making process. I got this. And uh I think he's realized he's following his feeling and that feeling is I got it. True. Yeah, I definitely I, yeah, expected I that like guy it. to be stronger than that. The guy was uh pretty terrible. Dude, Stain's cousin, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Strand, like yeah, because Stran, we were the ones who said like last week that he's probably the only one that survived. So, yeah, but I mean, he'd be a lot more badass I'm, than that. I think well people call. okay, people were saying that um because he was still poisoned from the the smoke, that's why he was coughing up blood. Oh, so that's why oh, he wasn't okay. as strong. Oh, that's what someone's to sure. say, sure. But... I think all those people who are like, oh, those athletes who play back-to-back nights are tired, and that's why they lost. Get out of here. They take steroids. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh, yeah, I don't know I don't know what I was expecting from the guy that doesn't cut, uh, that doesn't, you know, cut cut uh, eye holes out in his uh, clump. Jesus. It's bad. He's, he's that lazy. Well, did you guys ever thought that maybe he was actually, uh, Shuichi's friend. I kind of did, but no, then like. But they already showed. Oh. Yeah, they already showed the flashback though of him dead yeah. with a coin. No, it's, they showed a a flashback of a charred body holding the coin when they were talking about him, but they didn't yeah, ever like classify that it was him. Yeah. Oh, no, dude, that... My first thought was him until they uh, then they showed like that flashback thing, so I just assumed that was him because they were saying like because before that like, the kids were talking that there was a charred body that looked like uh, his friend. Yeah. Basically, um, so I, I assume that was the. I, I just assume that all fit as one. I thought this was just some random guy that just yeah, followed the box because I don't, he had I don't think else they got to drag it out or anything. I think they just just like Damn, showing, showing Ooh, that if you're right. Side. That's genius, because man, that crazy. That's like some old boy stuff right there. Yeah, did, did we see? We did we see like Shuichi like check out. Uh, check him out after you shot him, or did the episode just end right there? I can't remember now. It didn't, oh, so no, it didn't end. It cut it to the um, to cut to like a flashback of the alien meeting the first group. Which oh, is yeah. right. Okay, gotcha. Oh yeah, yeah. And they cut over to the original guy with uh, with apparently it looks like uh, Honoka, whatever yeah, her name so was. So Honoka, she's the so to bring it up like she's she's in the friend circle with Shuichi and Elena. So like their friend circle. Is the first it's so, pretty up. so she's the first one that discovers the alien. She's the one that gives him the idea of having other people collect it for them for the coin. She seemed like she seemed like she got a terrible power though, and she got screwed. Well, I mean, and then like yeah, at the end you see 
um the other guy like he, apparently like, his power is like it's like he's using like, her ghost or something as like kind of like as like a, as like a stand like a jojo stand or a persona so but that's so we're trying to see how it all connects together like how yeah it was all originally their group of friends and that's probably how like shuichi got turned into the costume in the first place the the, yeah the the dog costume it it kind of feels familiar to with shuichi's power uh where he actually combines with another person to become stronger um so i wonder maybe this guy he just has a better transcendent version of shuichi's power where he doesn't need to transform she's she they're like forever fused together i guess what if uh, each what if, what if like each person in the crew have have like the ability to uh, fuse or form with another person? So far, we well, well, I don't think Elena to, does. I, do we still even like really completely know what she does? She, nope. just, she could have something else, you know. Nope, just smoke. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I but, there, but there is one more person missing because I think in that picture yeah, they showed five. Yeah, there's one more there girl. Go. Still missing. Yeah. So I wonder if she's the one that has like all hundred coins. I should have just yeah I, I should have just paused just to see like the person to see if we if we've seen her before I don't know if you guys kind of I, I paused it back. but like I appreciate sure I, I think Brian seen it. Get us. huh what what's up can you can you pull up a photo of the people within the photo of the last episode of Blake near their little oh. their little group yeah <laughs> because you know Cloud Junior is in there and Cloud Junior the Zabuza sword Honoka I was like man what's going on here? like. But, the guy looked like the guy looked really cool, but I I don't know about the ability. I have like it just like it didn't really make it look that epic. It was just like what? a ghost with a giant sword. Bro, but you came... he didn't he didn't move though. I mean, I'm guessing he could yeah, still be like the, really the, the, the ghost move for him. That's cool. think think cool. about it, man. You get a girl from the sewer coming up your back with a bed sheet over her body, and she's got a sword that's probably double the size of her body, dude. That's a pretty messed yeah. up. Yeah, is that clear? Is that clear? I don't, I don't think it's clear. No, I don't think so. No, Claire has different eyes, and that girl doesn't have freckles. Yeah. Yeah, all the. Um, wait, have we seen that dude? Which one? The one, the not the, not the clear guy. The other guy, yeah. Oh, we haven't seen him uh, either, or at least I don't think so. Oh, he might so be one of the guys in the tracksuit. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So pigtails. Yeah, I don't think that's clear. One doesn't have freckles, and another one when when they showed. Um, when they showed her in the past, she had just she had longer hair, and there were um, what in the front kind of that was uh, I, I don't know what the braids, what the term is called. braids, there you go, where it's basically <laughs> just like dual braids, and uh, that one does not have it. So, I have a theory, I think this they're all just like one sick ancestral family because look at this guy, Lion Guy, aka Cloud Jr., probably mates with Elena because she has this like violet hair, and then they get three kids. Shuichi's one of them. The other guy, we'll just call him Robert for now. And then Claire. I, I swear that's Claire, but probably she had like PTSD and developed freckles and changed her shape of her eye. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sasha, if you are right somehow, my God. My God, man. <laughs> that is crazy accurate. Holy I, shit. I got you guys. Don't worry. I'm completely wrong and they sue me. <laughs> <laughs> we really need to have like a list of like all of our crazy things that we've said with like uh, what's going to happen in shows and see just if any of us hit it. Ever. Okay, have we ever That's hit a, a really novel. good idea? No, no never, nothing crazy at least. I think stuff? that should be one of our themes, our predictions, because uh, we should see like and follow up on that, and that way our fans, the three of you that exist, would be able to say like, <laughs> "Dude, who is actually legitimately correct five out of ten times?" Uh, Sasha, zero terrible predictor and then you know brian they're like he doesn't talk so we, we need to get him up uh i mean i've been okay with that <clears throat> i think it'd be you fun know. because this yeah. way we just forget and then we we don't ever come back to it we're like someone said that oh by the way here's a random naruto reference oh yeah <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> Dude, i don't know okay. about that okay. when, when something happens i don't think we're ever thought like okay one of us mentioned that one of us mentioned where you know like uh claire was like all you know this uh like all these different things, where somehow she became, or she just developed freckles, her eyes changed, and all sorts of stuff. Hey, man. Uh, it's gonna happen. I think we would, yeah. I think we re- we would remember that though. Would we though? Would we really? I don't know. We've our pretty insane, uh, our pretty insane theories. One, we'd be shocked as hell. So I would, I would guess that we'd be like, holy shit, 
Sasha called it, <laughs> and then uh, and then talk about it. Now, if we were ever right on one of our crazy conspiracy theories, we would have to burn that person because they're a witch. All right, hmm. it's witchcraft. Or it's they're very real. lucky. Or they're very lucky. No, 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 no. That's or that's they lie awful. about reading. Oh my. Oh damn. God. Ryan, none of oh. us. I could definitely see Sasha reading this entire thing. Sasha can't kidding. read. No one, kidding. no one in this group can read. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> wow. All these shots fired. Listen, guys, the only <laughs> manga I've actually read to the date is Fairy Tale. Okay. Uh, and I put that on Rachel's legs. But <laughs> 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 oh, bro, it's already over. It's glad uh, you now. Let it go. I'm she, sorry, guys. She's already in a wheelchair, bro. God. That's how she becomes Raphael. It's <laughs> oh god. Hey, this is a rolling theme, okay? So <laughs> Horrible. Just horrible. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, Terrible, guys. Shit. Anyway, though, with uh, Gleipnir, um, it kind of just ended... I, I'm guessing that the next episode is just going to kind of set up, like, the final final fight for mm. this, and then episode 13 will I, be the fight. I could, I'm actually surprised that um, they actually... they After the, they burned, like, the flowers, they just left and, like, just went to school the next day. I, I thought they were going to keep going. Like, they made it sound yep. like they were in a hurry to get to the, the spaceship, and they just left. So that was kind of weird, but... I think they all got kind of like I, mentally messed up because a lot of them don't actually kill and they just basically like annihilated an entire group. No, I, I appreciate not them that. themselves, but I don't. They, I guess they share blame. I don't know. Right, but the fact that they realized that they're too weak to even do anything that they needed to head back, I that's appreciate true. that. Like yeah, it made true. it more realistic in a sense. Yeah, and it I saved agree. All their lives. If all of us were a group and we're in the woods and we're seeing people get like molested and killed and you know like <laughs> we, we we see like a neighbor's head chopped off thrown to us in a, in a kmart bag you know damn well <laughs> we are not going to continue that journey no matter how many powers we have hey, yeah. I, i'd be like hey guys it was good knowing you but i'm gonna go back to that train station and cry my eyes out <laughs> yeah that's, that's a no for me are dog you, sorry, uh, <laughs> sasha are you unbelievably smart Oh yes, yes. So I, uh, I would become I the coin, well. I would become the the coin collector. I mean, come on, they're, they're all just finding them on the roads. They're just finding them in random ditches. Come on, there's more coins over there. I'll look over there. You can go in the hills. Nah, that's right. You be that guy that chops off dogs' legs. <laughs> Dude, this is a tail. <laughs> <laughs> you know, tail, tomato, potato. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I don't know. I actually like the the, the little backstory they did of, of the alien guy as well. Um, oh yeah, octopus. Yeah, it makes me make it makes it seem like he's not as evil and more of like just seems like eh, you know like uh, where he's like uh, if people are boring him. This this episode it may it seems like not he's I don't a know. prick. That yeah. other chick started up like not not uh, evil. It's like he def. I mean, I know we were talking about how earlier like he, he's he's like he has more than what he lets on, but like he just I don't know like. I, it just seems like he doesn't care. Like he just he doesn't, doesn't give care, a shit. But it just made it yeah. sound way worse. Like he, like, like before it was more like more like um, that naive feeling. But now it's just like it's, it feels more malicious. That's the feeling I got from this episode. Like, like he know that now he knows that um, he's causing a lot of trouble and stuff, and he's just letting things Dude. happen. So blame the ghost girl. Blame the ghost. I girl. told you so. I think I called it like the first or second episode where I was like, this guy's malicious as hell, but he's just not showing it. Even though he's not actively participating, if you will, he's still not helping the situation whatsoever. Yeah. Like, he's that guy who's watching on the sidelines. Like, if your neighbor was getting murdered outside your street and you watched it, you're, you're still a douchebag. You're not as bad of a douchebag as participating or, like, taking a video. But if you're watching it and not doing anything, calling the police or screaming for help or getting a hammer and trying to throw it out your window or something, right? That's what this guy is. So, honestly... I probably hate his character the most on that basis. So I, actually, really, yeah, because look at the back, the uh, the flashback. Um, like he actually he didn't need to like collect the coins, or he just because he didn't feel like doing it in the first place. It was only because Honoka yeah. suggested to him that he started this whole thing. So it basically just started also, off on a whim. His story makes no sense. He he cares deeply about seeing his friends again, so they can meet up. But then again, he was too lazy to go do it on his own. Yeah. Friends are probably like, they, I'm telling you, this guy is a is like a car salesman, one of those like sleaze ball salesmen. So, no me gusta, man. I, I don't like this guy at all. You with me, Johan? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. hey, Johan, get out of here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he's here today, but um, oh crap, it was the 
Yeah, I, I also don't believe him that he doesn't have any powers or abilities or that he's like weak right now. He's got to have something. Um, he's the I, guy. I, yeah, or or the or like retrieving the coins gives him power or something, or like recovers him in some sort of way. And it's not really friends. I don't. But yeah, I, I still have no idea. This guy is just like all over the board. Still is making no sense. But I, I kind of I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what uh, how his story develops. Even though I don't think we're, we're gonna get any more of his story this season. No, yeah, we're way too close to the end. So it's just gonna be yeah. the, the final fight between Rip. between the last guy. Yep. Uh, anybody think anybody's gonna die during um, these next couple episodes, or are we basically just gonna get kind of a standoff? I think everybody the... gonna die. I forgot their names, but Tree Kid and other guy, they're dead. I, I, don't, think they're gonna die. I don't think they're gonna. I don't know. I feel like it just feels like Chuchi and Claire is gonna go on their own just to make sure no one gets in the way. Cause yeah, because I, I think they realize that they're, they're weak and they probably are not gonna. I think Rabbit Girl is gonna die. Yeah, I could see that. I, I, I could see that too. They oh yeah they they finished it off with them talking on the roof, but they didn't actually show what their conversation was yet, right? Right, and we don't know if anybody at their school or that knows them is on the enemy or opposing team whatsoever. So right. if there's any chance of them suspecting it, they could be like, yo, girl, you got rabbit ears. We need to cut that off. <laughs> um, no, but uh, the, the one, t- I don't believe any of these. I'm going to say that nobody dies. After like me and Ku were uh, basically kind of uh, coming down to the decision where we thought everybody was going to die before like that 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 time has passed and i just i just don't think any of them are gonna I die mean, now everyone... no i still think they're gonna die well okay the telescopic guy died but i mean it's it's whatever nobody cared about him anyway no because i think they're gonna do a second trip right and then everyone's kind of shook by the fact that they have to kill or they realize how powerless they are but they're still gonna go back because they believe in their conviction that they need to get the 100 coins to to end this in a peaceful manner um i still think I still stand by my prediction that everyone but the leader, Shuichi and Claire, is going to die the next time they go up there. Okay. I will say nobody. <laughs> I think it's. I will say. Oh, uh, go ahead, Sash. Uh, there's a mix of random people. I think people are going to be caught in the crossfire. We'll see our boy, uh, Black Scyther, come back. He's going to oh, die. Do you think um, he's going to die? I think he's going to die to one of the main guys. He's going to maybe Cloud oh. Jr. I think he might die to Cloud Jr. Gotcha. Yeah, I just think it's, it's gonna be Shuichi and Claire by themselves in this last fight. So we'll see. Brian, huh? Uh, who do you think? Do you think anyone's gonna die last two episodes? I already, I already told you. Did you? Who did you say? Well, the last two are not the. Ni- I mean, I said the the plant kid and the and the the other guy. Nobody else, just them. Uh, I feel like the 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 cashier girl is gonna die. And invisible girl. The one that turns invisible. Oh, invisible girl. Okay. Gotcha. And... Would you like me to warm that up for you? Yeah, I didn't understand. <laughs> yeah, like, was yeah. she talking about her, her hand? Like, what the fuck? It was a sexual hand. reference, but at the same time, that's the thing. She she works at Seven Eleven, and the first time Claire and she met her, she's like, "Would you like me to warm that up for you?" And they're like, "Oh, that's where we know you from." So what she was doing there is she was saying like, "Hey, I know you're feeling sad. How about I touch your hand and then lead that down to your pants." Yeah. Uh, uh, no. nice sound Night girl's dying, and then they're probably gonna leave Animal Chick alive because I don't know why. There's no, no reason for her to be alive. If if anything, she, I, I'm gonna be so mad. She she's gotta die. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the characters now, my guess would be her. Yeah, because she knows too much. All right, so we're gonna end it there for Gleipnir. Uh, Gleipnir. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're going next to um, Honey Fura. Uh, so, Stren, how do you feel that uh, this week's episode was half filler again? Basically, half of it was just everybody saying that they're all of a sudden realizing, like, oh, like, like we like her. And it's like, we've known. You've known. But it's just like they had to confirm it again. Um, that part was was annoying. I Because I, I, every time they go back into the real world, they think, oh, God, they're going to go more into this. And then it's just... Pointless. <laughs> yes, Ren. Oh shit, it's the popo. God damn, Ren. <laughs> David, take over while I mute myself for a while. Okay. So that was, I don't know. At this point, it's just it's more funny that like we're still getting more filler in this one episode that should have not been filler, where because it wasn't like the last past episodes, there aren't. It wasn't um, 
we didn't have everyone else's perspective on how much they like Kenry. Now we have to tell us, oh, now that she's about to die, I need to tell people again how much I'm going to miss her because no one knows how I feel. Oh, God. That's so annoying. So reverse harm. I think it's just the show. It's just, it's just, it's just the pacing. I don't know. Like, whatever they had, like, they, they were stretching it so much. Like, they just... I, I feel like they're definitely we're stretching it out more just to like to end a, like a at a decent note and not be just at a weird spot. That's my guess. At least that's my hope. Um, it, but it, yeah, it just feels like I mean, it almost feels like from here, like where are they supposed to go after the final boss? Because it just feels like they're well, leading up to like the final boss. Still, I don't think she's got to pick any person at the end. That's why. No, I don't. I don't think this is where the show or the manga ends. Well, I think either, the light, no, the light novel. Still going, right? or log, light, light novel. Light novel. Sorry, I'm pretty sure it's still going. Oh, by the way, yeah, there's there's, cool. there's a manga spinoff where um awesome. where Katarina like she gets her memory when she's like in high school, so like she already oh, made a, yeah so she already made all the bad decisions as the in game Katarina where oh, like man. where she was all like she was she was already like bullying her little brother and like and like the you know her the fiance was already suspicious of her but she gets the memory back so she has less than a year to reverse. All the things, <laughs> yeah, shit. So that's that's the spinoff uh, manga. So, but but that's besides the point. Um, because uh, sorry, yeah. David. <laughs> no, that's totally fine, man. Um, I, don't know, I still think the real, the real world stuff is kind of weird because, like, like I think like, it's pretty cool though. Because it's more like a not really a, a, like a real world. It's more like a flashback slash like conscious thing just because like she's in like the she's in like she's because she was in the shadow stuff like technically the shadow realm or yeah being knocked unconscious but i don't i don't like even, i'm probably thinking too much about it, but like just the whole her her friend like being connected with sophia is still really weird like like i wish they would explain that more um because i was i was just trying to figure out like is because the only person that actually that we know that actually died was uh, Katarina's character. Yeah. Correct? We don't know about her other friend. No. I think right? I... Okay. Well, I just kept thinking, like, I mean, how is she still, like, tapping into, like, her memories? How is she able to, like... Yeah. Well, because, like, like, at least, at least Katarina, she's, like, the reincarnated. But, like, yeah. the friend, like, she's, like, just random, like, other person inside, like, her mind. So... Yeah. It's not fully so reincarnated, wish... like, like, Katarina. So it's really weird. Yeah, I said I was gonna look up Reddit before the podcast. I forgot. Didn't have enough time. It's all right. So that was too bad because I kept thinking, like, okay, this because it was actually something I was interested in looking up for this show because, uh, like those parts I thought were awesome. But then when they were basically like the whole realization of feelings, terrible, waste of time. Half the episode was gone, <laughs> and then and then they ba- they was they just like leading to the final boss. Um, I also wonder how she knew where Mary was because I don't know how she uh, would know yeah. unless. Unless the only reason she would know this is because I uh, know she previously played the played the route, and these these are actually following like this you know, the same route as in the the original game. That's like the only thing I can think of, yeah. But that's my guess. Um, also, also, dude, oh my god, when they when they the one they're like, oh, and his real name is, and they said his name, immediately I started laughing. Um, oh god, what what was it? It was uh, I'll, I'll look it up. But it was just it was just oh, John Cena. No, it was even better. Um, Wait, I'm actually, looking it up. Did it actually say his name? I thought it was cut off before she could hear it. No, but they kept saying it though, or the other people were saying it. And I just assumed that was his real name because I thought we never heard that name before. Or if what, we have, so, uh, is his fake name serious? Yeah, but what was his last? Well, okay, serious, say his full name. Serious, name like Serious Deke or something, or okay, there you go, Serious Deke. <laughs> Where I just kept thinking it's serious dick. Oh my I was God. like, good, fantastic thing. Well, I just heard serious. And... I'm like, this fucking Harry Potter character, Harry Potter name. Yeah, then you hear Deke, and then you just, then all I can think of is just serious Deke. And, and I'm just thinking, okay. I, I'm pretty I, sure, so I don't know if we. I'm pretty sure we said his name before that, but yeah. So, oh, so they said that yeah. like, in previous episodes? I think oh, so. Okay. But I guess How the hell did I. Because the first time I heard it this episode, immediately started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> this name is fantastic, and then, but but if it was previous episodes, I don't know how I never heard it before. I I know um, I heard it before, so okay. Or maybe maybe, so maybe maybe I only heard his first name. Maybe I didn't hear his last name. Okay, so maybe it's one of the like the, the, the situations, and they're gonna say his real name the next episode. He'll stop, you know, become 
all of a sudden realize the way he's done and everything well, like that. Again, like, yeah, that like because before Katerin went to sleep, they tried to like to give sympathy to him, saying like, "Why do you look so sad doing all this?" And then, of course, like they show his internal struggles inside that one in like his his st- shed or whatever. Watch twist. It's gonna end up being like a uh, Batman versus Superman. Katarina and his mom gonna have the same name, same. and they're gonna make up. Oh my god! <laughs> it's gonna be some stupid lame thing like that. I'm yeah. just kidding. I don't think they would do that. You can't do that with a name guy, with a guy's name in series Deke. There's no co- there's no way. No, honestly, I enjoyed this episode. Even, <laughs> with, even awesome. with the half fillers. Uh no, dude, that was just terrible. Know, but was, like, but. But that, during that that time, I was just doing other. I was just doing other. Like random when I stuff. saw like the, the the filler parts again, I was like, I was like, I was just shredding this episode. Like really, yeah. Like even like even the ending though. Dude, these sirens won't go away. Go go ahead. Dude. Um, I don't know. Like, just it didn't make make me as excited for the episode once I once everyone started their monologues again. Like, even towards the end, though, even towards the end, when when they basically busted down the door and realized, like, you know, final boss time. Yeah, that, I don't know. That, that's towards the end, though. though. I'm just saying, like, the middle of the episode, like, it was all like the filler stuff. So, gotcha. Like, I can't see the show like actually getting brutal, even though the whole show is about basically avoiding death flags. I just avoiding can't death see death flags and this his dark magic too. Yeah, his dark magic. Mary will save the day. It's fine. She's light. <laughs> I assume it's gonna be one of those like battles where they're all just gonna like throw themselves at him. They're gonna throw them back, and then Mary's gonna jump in, just lose as well. And then Katarina is gonna say some sort of thing, like, you know, you know, hey, yeah, I mean, me and your mom share the same name. <laughs> Let's make up. What's I got? Yeah, we will figure. We will see how the show ends next week. I think it's two more, two more episodes, isn't there? Let me check. I may have been wrong on that. I think it's two more episodes. There is. Oh, nope. Only one episode only left. Only one? Okay. Only one. That is the only show, I think, that has 12 that we watch. Everything else is, like, at 13. Okay. Yeah, so... Power of God, Gleipnir. So, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. It's... You won't have to hear the show again after next week. <laughs> I mean, it's not like a... I mean, it wasn't that Honestly, bad. It hasn't even been a bad show. It wasn't that I've, bad. I've, it's I've just, it's just the it, fillers. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I still, like, actually enjoy it. Like, if they do make a second season, definitely gonna watch it. It's, uh... And it's more of, like... It's just more of I just don't know where they go from here though because it's just like this is the final or what we Probably know as the final arc. Introduce more uh, more characters or just do the same things. There's make more slice of life again. I guess I mean they've already completely changed like every route from the original game. So it's yeah, just so like what can, do you do once you change the final like route? You, you, the, the, you know, you life make, still goes on. You make stuff up as you go. Yeah, that's true. The classic shonen route, even though it's a shoujo. We will see. We will yeah. see. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for Hame for uh, for this week. Um, remember, we're next to Kaguya-sama. Um, so I thought this week's episode was really funny compared to um, the past weeks. Bro, I like how my boy uh, Ishigami is getting some more airtime. <laughs> it seems like they're gonna drop his backstory next episode or something. Yeah, so like that was actually pretty unexpected. How like he was actually serious about the cheer squad. I thought he was gonna like do the whole like like oh, I can't take this anymore. Why am I here? But he's actually like. Giving it his all, which is surprising. You know, I, I feel like he he actually does. Whenever he does something, he always puts his like best effort into it, no matter what it is. And like sort of the backstory they show, it's I'm assuming like yeah, like he was like just a normal kid before because he had like the normal haircut, and then like because of like all like I guess he got like set up or or for something. And that's why like he probably like, got like some like rumor like bad rumor place on him and then like his just his school life just started going down d- downhill so it was just it was bad that like his high the way his high school life started is because there's that middle school incident i mean he's still a first year so he's got time to recover from it but uh he still has, what the, bag- is he just, he still has the baggage though from middle school because i think the middle school and high school are connected right but what was his relationship with the uh the one blonde chick o- oneida or whatever her name was i don't I don't know. Like, I they don't really say. So I assume maybe she was also like, maybe she was someone else who got who got roped into the club and she wasn't gonna take it seriously. And so she was the only other person that that wasn't guess gonna take it seriously. I don't remember yeah. her at all. Maybe it was in the yeah. manga. 
Um, or I don't know, maybe they'll spend the next couple episodes. Because again, I feel like they're setting up to give more of a backstory of uh, Ishigami next episode or two, which is kind of weird because it's towards the end, right? Towards the end of the season. Yeah, I mean, it's very like, like there's not like a specific arc for this show, so it's not really that surprising. Yeah, that's true. But uh, so what did you think about uh, the first two segments, though? Um, the so one with uh. UK or the dad like were they the same one or uh so the first one is with K she wanted to get to know what was bothering her brother without yeah him to attach oh and then I didn't really care about that but oh and then um and then um uh Chirugane and his dance yeah dude the dance was pretty epic <laughs> sore on sore on I got stuck in my head so much after that episode yeah like I guess the, what the with, with the setup that they gave to it and then uh like his expression he was given when he was doing the dance when he actually learned how to dance dude i thought it was pretty uh it was, it was really catchy like i got stuck in my head for well, a couple of days yeah i assume like it's like it's what you hear at japanese festivals but this was another episode where chica was pissed she was so pissed that he was he like basically like played off how bad he was at dancing and she got baited again to teach him Dude, it's like, you know, it's the first two times you can kind of think, like, get it. But, like, a third time, I mean, how are you going to fall for this every single time? But, I well, mean, that's she, just her character, so that's that's just who she is. She, well, she actually snapped on him, that. which is pretty funny. Yeah. Bro, I'm not going to lie. Maybe I have a problem, but uh, the sadistic Chica look, that was that was pretty attractive. <laughs> was that when, um, when she was, like, being kind of sending towards Kaguya? Yeah, she was like, oh, really? Huh? Oh, it's not that hard, huh? Hmm, tell me more. I thought that was, that was pretty funny, yeah. Like, and Kaguya's, like, she's, like, doesn't know, she doesn't understand at all what's going on. So, and she just, she kept, like, doubling, they both just kept doubling down on their, on their beliefs. Yeah, but, I don't know. Like I said, it's all, like, this show, this, it, it's, it's all about Chica, man. I, I can really care less about Kaguya, but, um, dude, I, Chica... Total I, wife. I mean, I like Chica too, but I still prefer Kaguya. But like, do the I don't know. it's like that section was, fun, was really good. Um, the one the, the do the dad was awesome. Like their 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 dad. Like when he, when he couldn't listen to Shogane's like romantic troubles, he's like, oh wait, this is harder than I thought. And he's yeah. he's bringing in his own marriage problems with his kids kids <laughs> advice. That was. Uh, yeah, I kind, of, I, I kind of thought his dad was gonna be kind of a klutz or completely useless. But then towards the on the third segment when he was like kind of I guess harassing Kaguya about uh, about like her feelings for uh, uh, Shirogane. Shirogane, yeah, I thought that was pretty smart. Like maybe this guy is uh, smarter than than he lets on. You know, like he's actually very uh, uh, very cunning in hmm. a sense. Yeah. So overall, like. <laughs> This is a really good episode. It's like a refresher compared to the last couple episodes where I thought they were they really felt kind of flat. This one was like this one was just really I don't know. I, I was laughing so hard during this whole episode. Yeah, I didn't really care much for the first segment, but yeah, the last uh, the last two segments I thought was really good. Like I didn't really think I was just gonna enjoy the uh the sports festival as much, but I oh, think yeah. they did it pretty well. No, because I said last week's episode I thought I was dreading it because I thought I thought it was gonna drag on with Ishigami and his baggage, but like that, that was more Bro, like now that, you want baggage. <laughs> well, no, no, it was, it was more wholesome than I thought. Like people were actually supportive. Like, and like and they actually went to more into, like him and Eno's relationship too. How like even though they they on the surface it looks like they hate each other, but they actually they actually do look out for each other because I think they they understand what they're going through. So that was really nice. And then the the glasses girl, the, the best friend, like she also appreciates Ishigami for looking out for her friend as well. So that was also really nice. Yeah, for some reason, like she was given off. Uh, like that Daisy vibe from, uh, uh, say Orisuki. I don't know why. Maybe it's just girls with glasses, but she was kind of giving off like a Daisy vibe. Uh, okay, I, I didn't see it at all, but I think that's yeah. just being appreciative of Ishigami for being like the only other person to support her best friend. Yeah, but it, it felt like she was always the like the brains behind out, out of the two duel that she was always the one that was kind of like rationalize things think things through 
And then it looked like she was going to come up with something too when she was explaining the backstory of Ino and uh, Ishigami. But they, they kind of just cut her segment kind of short, I felt. I felt like she was going to get more more airtime. Uh, I thought it was like, whatever we had was still pretty nice. I think it's they just. I think the main focus is still got to be on Ishigami and Ino. Yeah, true. True. I mean, and, and like I said, I. I, I do respect that they're they give him more airtime. I think he's kind of a a narrated character, but uh, I mean, we'll see what happens with yeah. the next episode. Yeah, because the previous episodes, they always he's always like getting like screwed over. So it's nice the show's actually being supportive of him. So so that that's yeah, that's all I really had for Kaga Sama. Still really enjoying. I this was a really nice episode. Like so, still really enjoying the show, and hopefully it keeps up for the last couple episodes. Yeah, it was a refreshing episode, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. And then we're just going to move on. We're going to move on to um, Sing Yesterday for me. Oh, God, bro. This episode, <laughs> I told you shit was going to happen. God. Oh, my goodness. Do you have a rant co- incoming? Or is this... Do you need, need to go through the Dude, discussion? so many things. I fucking hate <laughs> Ro, right? Like, Haru... I mean, I used to say that, you know, she... Like, I, I hated how her character was being developed. But, I mean, with everything that happened to her... I just I just can't falter anymore. Like I gotta just leave her alone. But but Ro, oh my god, dude, this guy that 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 floating white truck that I was talking about <laughs> this needs to come ASAP. Like this guy needs to go. Yeah, man, I really like because I didn't like I didn't hate him. Like I always thought he was the weakest, but now I was just he's, he's at the point where I was like, man, like yeah, I really don't like you, <laughs> or I really wish you like you're like the biggest problem in like this show now, it's, like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he really doesn't have to be here, and so that's like I don't know, if, like the authors, like like whatever the author was doing before to like try and make us sympathize or try to give more character. Like, like it's not working. Like it just makes everything more worse. No, like, I actually, I actually appreciate it because I feel like at this point the authors kind of force you to pick a side. Like there's no more like eh, like giving them like leeway. At this point, it's like, bro, like you gotta go. Like Shinako's gotta make up her fucking mind. Uh, Riku, I think he's doing okay, but he kind of fucked up Haru by not telling the truth when he stayed over. And Haru, man, like if she wasn't getting like all the fan support before this episode, it it, it was all about her. Like, like oh, I, I, I don't know. I, just, can't. I feel like this episode, like just just give me a reason just not to like everyone. Like, um, I guess like I mean. See, I'm opposite, I'm opposite of you now. Where I, before I was going sympathy to Haru, now I'm just like, well, you got you already got rejected, Haru. You knew it was gonna happen, so like, like I understand you're hurt, but like you knew this would happen. Like you, but not you, like st- that, David. you still kept, not like that, bro. <laughs> like you still kept chasing after him. Even like he clearly stated, like Haru, I can't do this with you anymore. Please, don't see me anymore. Like he clearly said it, and so like, like you, like, you knew like this would happen, like when. And then, so I don't know. Like, to be fair, kind of like how you said Shinako was leaning Riku on in a sense. I feel like Riku did the same thing to Haru as well. I guess so that's that's, never, also, that's also yeah, he why. Never said it. That's the thing. Yeah, that, that's also why. I also, like like I place like placing a blame on everyone. That's but just on Riku too. Like like this whole thing is is also because like it all started because like when he got rejected by Shinako, he, he couldn't distance himself from her and just cut it off clean. And now, like, he did just basically the same thing to Haru, where, like, like he, even though he, he rejected her, like, he, like, he still, like, couldn't cut it off clean again. So, like. But, yeah, again, like, I guess you can't really hate it because that's just how humans are, honestly. Like, once you have something and you enjoy it or, or somewhat like it, you can't just let it go like that. So, I, I can kind of get why everyone's like that. I don't know, man. I feel like. Because because this is like a like a drama, like the characters are forced to interact with each other. Whereas like you know like if you, in real life like we have some we have more people that we can always like 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 it it makes it less like painful to cut people off because like you have like, like you don't have to be the same person the whole time. So I don't know like uh I don't know it it depends. But so that I and mean, that's that's so that's that's my issue. So that's like my complaint about like you know Haru and Riko and then. Shinako, man, like God, like when she, Dude, like God damn Shinako, like you gotta just. This is what I was talking about. Cool, like, this is what yeah, I, was, I know. 
no, no, it wasn't until this episode where I was like really mad. All right, because <laughs> dude, fucking double standards and just the fact that for some reason they mentioned that they've been going out for like three, three months, months now. Yeah, yeah, like what the fuck did that times uh, skip come from? Um, but yeah, it's it's been three months well, and you to, still to be fair. To, to be fair though, like um, they the show has been like slowly progressing through time. Like they do cut through like little time skips here and there. So, uh, I mean, I guess. But three months, just the, the, the three months is really, really weird. Like the way they cut it off. No, cut the way that they, the way that they started out the show too. They started out the show from last episode where uh, Haru heard a noise, and then the phone call was from her apparently, and then Riku came over, like stayed over the night. And is that where the time skip happened, or is it like, like I, I just don't understand how three uh, months have passed. Yeah, so, that is. I'm assuming it's like when she was making like the the cake part. Like I think after that is when, when um. But yeah, I guess it's been three months. Yeah. But yeah, dude. Oh god, I just. No, no. Go. I, mean, I, I interrupted you. Go. Go on your rant with Shinako. I want to hear it. Yeah. So at, at before it was okay, right? Because it was the first time she still had baggage that she was slowly getting over it. Recool is okay with it. You know, it's it it was setting it up like a nice in a nice pace but then it's been three months they're going out and she still hasn't told roll and like in a sense she kind of let him on but not really because she has told him no before but the fact that she didn't clearly state ground rules that hey you know we, we're just family friends there's nothing more nothing less uh, but she's still giving him like somewhat special treatment you know um I, I get it that you grew up this family and you have like that that family attachment to them but you you, you really don't you really don't have that obligation to constantly try to like baby this guy and then uh you know roe as a as a teenager he doesn't really understand like just how life works he thinks that it's like it means something and now we're at this point where it's because this this grown-ass woman just just couldn't say hey i got a man now like we can't do this anymore it now we're at this part where like like this shit happens so um at, at this point there's there's really no more excuses i can give the shinako you know so it's it's pretty damn but rough. The baggage, but she's still hung up on the dead brother. No, that's out the window when you like decided to become a, a couple. You know, like <laughs> not even, not even a, a couple, like the least like amount of like couple where you're you're still afraid to kiss because like you still have the baggage. You know, you know, David. Sometimes it's not about the the whole kissing and touching thing. You know, it's about the intimacy that you well, share. Okay, with but it's like. Before, earlier before two house she was saying like i wish you were more aggressive so the one time that rico tries to be more more aggressive and, like tries to take it forward she's like oh wait no never mind I lo-. like and then the, just the part where um yo can i just time in real quick but that it's... guy needs to leave that hole dude yeah same same but it's okay. not dude, it's not worth it all right you guys can <laughs> okay thanks <laughs> thanks for that helpful input brian you right though you right I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's yeah, got a point. And like, but oh, yeah. the part where um, oh. Haru, when she t- said to Shinako, like, um, like it's not fair that you held on this whole time. It's like that's that's the part like that really like hits where like where you, even Shinako realizes that um that like she's just yeah. When well, you realize you fucked up, like that's, she's just, she's just been just dragging this, dragging this out, like, and then and then and then her friend called her out on it too. It's like even. Like if you if you felt this way, this like why did you decide to go out with him in the first place? You know. Like, yeah, like I said, be- before they the, before they hooked up and decided to be a couple, I was okay with it, you know. But when you decide to commit yourself to another person, like that's when you need to draw the line. So, to be fair, I was with her until a certain point. At this point, everyone's fucked up. <laughs> but since Haru got the shit end of the stick, I'm just gonna leave her alone. You know. I know. I still like. I, I still feel I feel bad for it at the same time. Like she did get get rejected too, so like Yeah, she said it shouldn't have come in. Yeah. But and like, man, oh what? Ooh, I can't wait for next episode though. Shit. Oh shit. Uh, man, I, I'm not. Like I, I I just get the fuck out of here, bro. Like I I don't wanna see any any more of him from the show. Like The White Truck can solve that. Like, because like like how you were like forgiving of Shinako, like I was kind of forgiving of Rio because like I understand he he had that inferior complex and how like 
he was always being compared to his brother. And like, and Shinako kept like, she, she, Shinako was the one that kept instigating it because she always, she had that unconscious habit of like comparing him to his brother. So I understood where he had like the feeling of, um, inadequacy, but like at this point, like he's, yeah, he's way too immature. Like, like, I mean, the line was already crossed away before, but it's just, oh my God, it just, it just, I don't know. Like, it's just really bad. This episode, like, like re- like if it's just made me really hate the guy, like I can't like give sim- I can't like give him sympathy for for how he's treated by Shinako anymore. Like he's he's, he's oh, gotta go. That, that ship should have left a long time ago, sir. But, I was willing to be sympathetic because I felt bad. I felt bad the way <laughs> that he was being treated, but now it's like this is too. No, you you had your chance, and you, and you need you just need to grow up. <laughs> You're just acting like a kid here. Yeah, most most definitely. Um, again, I like this this episode. These past episodes just just maybe do like a complete one eighty on all the characters. Um, except I have more sympathy for Haru, but man, yeah, wow. Hmm. I'm just like, I'm basically like, I guess same but like opposite. So, but this show, man, I I think I I'm assuming we saw eighteen episodes. So we saw like what like six or seven more uh i'd this... say about seven yeah god of this because i guess like because i think we were guessing that um that someone like i guess like yeah shinako and riko would go out and i think i was on i guess that um that like they would just break up eventually and then just riko would just, just get back with the haru or something that's how it was gonna end that's i guess i think that's how i'm um, so i guess like this whole like relationship with shinako is not gonna end well because of that baggage and i guess we could just end up with Haru in the end. Yeah, I feel like that's how it's going to go as well. But um, I guess at this point, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen. But I want to see how they get there. Because uh, it'll be interesting how everything plays out at this point. If for some reason, Shinako and Ro does end up together, like it's oh. pretty fucked up. But uh, I guess we'll see what happens. God, it'd be like the most like, like unbelievable thing just because like, it just doesn't seem like Shinako has any feelings at all. Real. and it seems like she'll forever see him as like the little brother i can't see her ever like developing feelings for him i mean you never know eventually you just confuse um <clears throat> like you just confuse the relationship they have with something that's romantic because you've been there for, like it's so comfortable to you and you're just so accustomed to it that it just feels right but you know, maybe, like I said, with with the way that Shinako's unable to uh, clearly express her feelings, maybe she's just not able to differentiate be- between that, and she'll just end up with whoever is willing to be there. So it's not a good relationship, but so I hope that's not what happens. It's really not, but at this point, you know, she she dug her own grave. So yeah. we'll, we'll we'll see how this goes. You know? Yeah. So that's gonna be it for seeing yesterday for now. So we're in the show here. We went through a lot. Um, these last couple episodes, like, really starting to ramp up through that ending. So. Yeah, there was quite a bit of stuff. We had a, there was a lot of anime news as well. I don't think we've ever had that long of an anime news section before. So, like, a lot of things happening as we were heading towards the end. So, yes. okay, okay, good timing, guys. I just recording. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. So that's gonna be it for this week's show. I wanna thank the listeners for joining us this week. Thanks everyone in chat. I wanna thank the panel again too for joining me thanks guys of course yes just keep mm-hmm. that uh you know appearance fee coming my way <laughs> yes always and we'll see you next week bye bye, Adios. bye. kawaii